Assalamu alaikum viewers. Uh, we will be teaching you today how to measure the non-invasive blood pressure in rates and file setting come calibration using power lab AD instruments. So I'm Professor Dr. Niaz Ali from Haven Medical University, Peshawar, Pakistan, and I'm having my students here with her permission, Iqra Murad Ali. So she's working on uh, uh, an antihypertensive project uh, of test molecules. So let me share with you some, some basic uh, setting of the power lab. You can see this is a non-invasive blood pressure uh, measuring system and above that, that there is a uh, power lab that is obtained from the uh, AD Instrument uh, Australia with the power lab 26T uh, model. Now uh, this is coupled uh, with, the, with, the, with the red tail cup and at the same time you can find the red hair where where, where it has been already uh, acclimatized. This is very important to acclimatize the rats and have a cloth on this so that it's, uh, there should be no noise and should not be properly, it should not be disturbed. Now having said that, usually for rat and mice, you should have a different tail cup system and at the same time, you should have a different setting like here that is sitting knob and so that the pulse range is specially adjusted. Uh, let me go to the screen and I have coupled this with uh, my personal laptop and if I carry you uh, to, the, to, the, to, the, to, the, to the system where I have already opened a file and this file is having some recorded data. So this will be shared with you and uh, let me uh, start the uh, power lab and uh, to record some uh, data as well. Here you can see uh, the pulse is being recorded of this experimental animal and I am going to have uh, a pulse knob that is being uh, pushed and a pressure is being raised here. You can find that the pressure is being raised in the, in the, in the second channel. You see the second channel is recording the, 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 the blood pressure and the first channel is recording the pulse and remember. Uh, as it increased, so the pulse is finished. And once uh, the pulse is appearing again, you can see this. And here, so this will be the end where this will be the systolic point, and this will be the uh, the diastolic point. And if we carry this, we will we will calibrate and we will do that uh, in a second video that will be appended with this. But let we have uh, what you can say go for the calibration of the file. If you go and see uh, here the pulse uh, value is recorded in, in, in channel 1 whereas in the channel 2 the, 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 the blood pressure is recorded but it is not properly calibrated. So let me calibrate it and before going to calibration uh, let me set the, the, the power lab the channel setting and remove these unnecessary uh, channels. So let me uh, go to the channel setting and here the, it appears that already eight channels are there. So let me decrease the number of these channels. And decreasing these number of these channels will help you to, 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 to manage and amplify all these data. So now we go to and remove the unnecessary channels. Now you can see the, the recording is being quietly, is very quite visible. And this is the previously recorded data. If I share with you, so the previous recorded data is here and this is already recorded data that we had. This is the, the, the pulse being already recorded here. You see in this second wave of reading, this is the second wave of reading. You can find it and uh, here this is the second wave of reading. Here when the pressure is increased, so the pulse is finished and when as it is pressure is released going down here, so the pulse is uh, appeared again and we will we will we will point the difference uh, the difference between this point and this point will be recorded here in the second channel as mmh mm of mercury or mmhg but here it is not calibrated so let me try how to calibrate it uh, now in order to calibrate the file here you can see uh, with this particular region the cuff this is an, uh, an outlet related to the uh, uh, what you can say cup and here inbuilt is a pressure pump that's going to pump the air here. So we have coupled this uh, with, a, 
cuff of a normal measuring blood pressure, you see, and it is rounded against uh, either a Pepsi bottle or what you can say, any bottle of one liter size, and it is filled with water, so that once we give it pressure, so it can tolerate the pressure. So let me start here, the file at, uh, at, uh, at, uh, at the, at the oh, this is coupled with power lab, and now uh, the value is started. So once we, uh, let me cancel the comment, and we started this again, that is started, you see, so you can find the pulses being there, you see, and let me, let me, let me, uh, let me, let me start the knob again. So it's going to pressurize this particular region, and this bottle is being pressurized, so that sufficient amount of air is being, uh, being given, so that it reached the maximum uh, attitude, you see. But remember, 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 uh, since uh, it is not cupped, it is not uh, the, the, the sensor related to this uh, experimental animal for calibration. We have removed this. So you can see here the pulse is not being affected. Now at this moment we are calibrating this particular channel too for, so that the value shall be recorded as uh, uh, um, mm of Hg or mercury. So now it is being depleted. And once it is depleted, you see, then, 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 you have to give comments at particular level. So let me start with the control K here, and the comments is coming, and you can see at the knob, what is the comment? And uh, let's say this is 140 mmHg is here. And reaching the, this 140 mmHg, you see, now we enter here, and this value is here recorded as 140 mmHg. And another comments we are going to take at channel two, and let's see there will be at least two point calibration. Now we are going to stop it and uh, the power lab here, this uh, recording data and now we have to uh, couple this with the, uh, remove this uh, BP set and couple this with the, with the, with the, with this particular, particular uh, pump system that is coupled. So can you please enter this as my students is now going to enter this and once she entered that now this system is coupled here again with this experimental animals with the tail and let me start it again and give the pressure that what happens so now you can see here that uh, the pulse is still there and channel one and if i start this uh, particular uh, knob to pump up you see so the pressure is raised through this cable and here at this tail and again the pressure raise is Again, we are here, you see, in channel one. Now the pulse is removed and the pulse is silent. And once this is released, you see, so upon release of this, again the pulse will appear. So you see the pulse is appearing here and when the pressure was raised, so the pulse is stopped. And this is how we will make a difference between this point and this point. So for that, please be with us. Let me set the file again. Now regarding calibration, once we recorded the data, you see, at this particular point, if you if you if you if you measure this and put the cursor here at this command at which is 180 mmHg. So meaning that at 180 mmHg, uh, the value here is, you see, that is uh, uh, 0.457 volt, 0.455 volt, 0.4. 5, 5 volt, 0 0.455 volt. Here that is recorded, 0 0.455 volt. While putting the cursor here at point first, that is 180 mmHg. And if you carry this cursor here and place it on the second comment, you see, so that it shall be superimposable at 120 mmHg. Once we recorded using that particular uh, particular spectrometer. So here in channel two. It gives you 0 0.225, 0 0.225, 5, 5 volt, you see. And remember, remember, we will use this point in calibration. Now, what to do? The point is, here you go to the, 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 the uh, this particular icon at channel 2, click it, go to the uh, unit conversion, and once you go to the unit conversion, here we have to put the value. 
and putting the value here two points remember in the, in the point first it was 180 uh, so regarding 180 mm hg you see let me put the value here uh, 180 mm hg can you can you put the value 180 mm hg there uh, no the unit will be uh, can you can you can you go first go to the units and while going to the units here we select this mm hg and once we selected the mm hg so the ultimate unit here will be one mm hg so first we have to write 180 mm hg here right and here is uh, the we will put the value of volt what is the volt for that putting the put the value please 180 mm hg here because the nearby value is mm hg and here the volt what was the volt here write the volt for 180 mm hg which was 0 0.445 0 0.4 and that was 55 5 volt and here the second point calibration was 0 0.2 to 5 volt you see that was volt volt and its uh, unit was 120 uh, 20 mm hg and if we make it okay what happens so so here you can see now the blood pressure value if you put the cursor here put the cursor here anywhere you can take the point you see the unit now come here is uh, here is mmhg so now let we let we go to interpret the value and interpreting the value here of already recorded data you see for example for example this is a data of the experimental animal that we already recorded and once we recorded here and take the marker here at the bottom here is the marker and if you carry this marker carry this marker place it here my student is now taking the marker and placing there. So, so let's see. Uh, if you put the cursor here, they have not put, taken the marker here. So the pulse is uh, the pulse is is finished, vanished. It means it is the systolic blood pressure. And what will be the value? The value being recorded here is. Uh, is a is a is a 250.27 mmhg, and in case of uh, when the pulse is reappeared again, this will be the diastolic blood pressure you see, and the pulse is reappeared here. So I'll have I will put it, put the put the cursor here, and putting the cursor here, you see, so that it is superimposable on one another. Once it becomes superimposed on one another, here you see. Now you go to the second channel and the blood pressure diastolic is 150 mmHg. Remember, in channel 3, we have already set it and it gives you the heart rate. That is 335.4, uh, whatever the value is, that is beats per minute. And how we have set that in channel 3, channel 3, that is you will go to the cyclic measurement. And once you go to the cyclic measurement, the input is from the channel 1, which is the pulse and then here you will take general spiky shape and general spiky shape you can you can get that you can take it by selection for the right ecg or other as for the, for the need but for the for the beats per minutes you have general spiky shape select you have to select the general spiky shape and that is why then the value here is is in beats per minutes the blood pressure of uh, the sorry the, the the heart rate of the experimental animal so this is how you calibrated the file. Now, how you are going to make a difference of that? Of that. So let we let we let we let let, let focus on the screen, and I am going to take the ma marker here. So, so 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 I am taking marker from here. Make it more near. I am taking the marker here and carrying here. You see, I put the marker here. You see, and the peak point when the where the where the where the where the pulse was uh, finished, vanished because of the, uh, the, 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 the cup exerted much more pressure 
And now, this is the point, this is the point, you see, this is the point uh, where, where, where the pulse appeared. So can you go to the, 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 this particular region? And this is minus 89.02 mmAg. It means there is a difference between uh, this point 1, point 1, point 1, and this point 2, when the pulse was, there, it, this, is, this, is, this is a difference of that particular uh, amount of pressure. This is how even you, you will be, you will be, you will be, you will be, you will be uh, extracting the data from this coil. I hope now you understand how you calibrated this.